Chips tips on Canada. Canada. Canada is a country that is located on the continent of North America. It is a large country with provinces that stretch from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Canada's land area is made up of 3.85 million square miles. This makes Canada the fourth largest country by land area. Although it is a large country, it does not have a large population. There are about 35 million people who live in Canada, mostly along the southern border of the country. Most of the country is made up of forests, areas of tundra, and the Rocky Mountains. The climate is cold during the winter. Canada is a bilingual country, and many Canadians speak two languages, English and French. Ottawa is the capital of Canada. The Canadian motto is From Sea to Sea. Location Canada is located in the northern area of the continent of North America, in the Northern Hemisphere. It has a huge land area that extends from the Pacific Ocean in the west to the Atlantic Ocean in the east. To the north of Canada lies the Arctic Ocean. Because of these three oceans, Canada has the longest coastline in the world. The length of its coastline is 125,570 miles long. Canada is bordered by just one country, the United States, but it is bordered by the United States at two different places. Its northwest province of the Yukon borders the U.S. state of Alaska. Its southern border with the United States is the longest land border in the world. It is 5,525 miles long. Geography. Including lakes, Canada is the second largest country in the world after Russia. By land area alone, without the lakes, this makes Canada the fourth largest country in the world. Canada has an amazing amount of lakes. It has 31,700 large lakes the most lakes of any country in the world. This means that Canada has a large supply of the world's fresh water. In the Canadian Rockies and the Coast Mountains, there are also freshwater glaciers. The northern part of Canada is covered by ice and permafrost. There are eight large areas of forest in Canada, and the Canadian Interior Plains is a large area of flatland that stretches across parts of the provinces of Alberta, Saskatchewan, and Manitoba. Canada stretches across six time zones, from the Atlantic to the Pacific. Climate Canada is a very large country and so it has more than one climate. Winters can be very cold and harsh, especially in the prairie provinces in the center of the country. This area has a continental climate where daily winter temperatures are about 5 degrees Fahrenheit, but can drop below minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit, along with strong winds. Snow can cover the ground for six months. In the northern areas of Canada, snow often stays on the ground all year long. But summertime temperatures can get quite warm and become as hot as 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Along the coast of British Columbia in western Canada, the climate is temperate, where the winters are mild and rainy. The average summertime temperature on the east and west coast is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. History People have been living for about 15,000 years in the northwestern province of the Yukon. Scientists believe that 
these people came from Asia to North America across the Bering Land Bridge. This was an area of land that stretched from northeastern Asia to northwestern North America. People from Norway arrived in Newfoundland as early as 1000 A.D. In 1497, the explorer John Cabot arrived at Canada's Atlantic coast, and people from Europe began to settle in Canada. Lower Canada, later Quebec, was settled by the French, and Upper Canada, later Ontario, was settled by the British. After being a part of the United Kingdom for many years, Canada finally became independent in 1982. Canada got its name from a local Native American word, Kanata, which means village. Canada was invaded by the United States two times, once in 1775 and then in 1812. Major Cities Toronto is the largest city in Canada. It has a population of more than 2.6 million people. It is the fourth largest city in North America after Mexico City, New York City, and Los Angeles. Sitting on the northwestern shore of Lake Ontario, it is the country's most important city for banking, business, and arts and culture. Montreal is the second largest city in Canada, with a population of more than 1.6 million people. Montreal is located in the French-speaking area of the country, so French is the official language of Montreal. It is the second largest French-speaking city in the world after Paris. Ottawa is the fourth largest city in Canada and is the capital city of the country. It has a population of about 900,000 people. There are many beautiful churches in Montreal and it is sometimes called the City of Saints or the City of a hundred bell towers. Culture. There are people from many different places around the world who live in Canada. These people include the indigenous people of Canada and the two groups, the English and the French, who arrived from Europe and settled in Canada. In more recent years, people from Asia, Africa, and the Caribbean have added to the mixture of the Canadian people. Canada uses the maple leaf on its flag. Other Canadian symbols include the beaver, Canada goose, the crown, the Royal Canadian Mounted Police, and the totem pole. Some of these symbols are used on Canadian money. French-speaking people in Montreal and Quebec are proud of their history their language, and their culture. Canada holds the record for winning the most gold medals at a Winter Olympic Games. It won 14 gold medals at the 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics. Famous people. There are many famous people from Canada's past and present. Frank Gehry is an architect who has designed and constructed amazing buildings in several places around the world. Margaret Atwood and Saul Bellow are two famous writers from Canada. James Cameron is a famous movie director who made well-known movies like Titanic, Aliens, and Avatar. Sports people from Canada include baseball players Joey Voto and Russell Martin. Basketball players Andrew Wiggins and Tristan Thompson. Golfer Mike Weir. Gymnast Rosie McLennan. Ice skaters Tara Virtue and Scott Moore. And soccer players Julian de Guzman, Sidney Leroux, Ciara McCormick, and Christine Sinclair. Festivals. There are many festivals held throughout the year in Canada. One of the most important is called the Montreal Fireworks Festival. This is the biggest 
fireworks festival in the world and lasts for about a month, from late June to late July. The Calgary Stampede is an exhibition and rodeo that is held every July in Calgary, Alberta. It is one of the biggest rodeo shows in the world. There are two children's festivals. The Northern Saskatchewan International Children's Festival is held in early June, and the Winnipeg International Children's Festival, which is also held in early June. Winterlude is a winter festival held in Ottawa that features the Five Mile Rideau Canal Skateway, the largest skating rink in the world. Holidays. There are many public holidays in Canada. Some of these are observed all over the country, while others are observed in some of the provinces. The holidays that are observed all over Canada include New Year's Day on January 1st, Good Friday, the Friday before Easter Day, Independence Day, which is called Canada Day on July 1st, Labor Day on the first Monday in September, and Christmas Day on December 25th. Some other holidays include Victoria Day, which celebrates the birthday of Queen Victoria, Thanksgiving, which is observed on the second Monday in October, Remembrance Day on November 11th, remembers those Canadians who lost their lives in wars, and Family Day, which is observed on the third Monday in February. Major Occupations There are many kinds of jobs in Canada. It is one of the top 10 trading countries in the world. Canada is an important supplier of agricultural products. The Canadian prairies in the central part of the country produce canola, wheat, and other kinds of grains. Canada exports many kinds of natural resources, including aluminum, coal, gold, iron ore, lead, nickel, steel, uranium, and zinc. It also produces several energy-related exports, such as natural gas and oil. Canada also has large forests, and exporting lumber is one of the country's industries. In Ontario and Quebec, there are many factories where automobiles and airplanes are produced. Canada's biggest trade partner is the United States. There are about 30,000 members of the famous Royal Canadian Mounted Police. Animals Canada is a vast country, so it is not surprising that it has a huge variety of animals. Birds include the Atlantic Puffin, the Bald Eagle, Blue Jay, Canada Goose, Great Blue Heron, Northern Cardinal, Pacific Loon, Peregrine Falcon, Red-Headed Woodpecker, Ruffed Grouse, Snowy Owl, Spotted Owl, and Tundra Swan. There are many well-known insects such as Grasshopper, Ladybug, and Monarch Butterfly. Aquatic animals include the beluga whale, Greenland shark, harp seal, killer whale, rainbow trout, salmon, sea lion, sea otter, and walrus. There are many interesting mammals like the arctic fox, arctic hare, beaver, bighorn sheep, bison, Canada lynx, caribou, cougar, grizzly bear, Kermode bear, moose, polar bear, porcupine, pronghorn, raccoon, red fox, and white-tailed deer. The real bear on which Winnie the Pooh was based was born in Canada. Plants There are many kinds of plants in Canada, not only because it is a big country, but also because it is made up of so many kinds of landscapes. There are beautiful flowers such as asters, bloodroot, blue flag, iris, Canada columbine, common bluet, dense flowered lupine, foam flower, harebell, honeysuckle, pask flower, spotted joe pie weed, sunflower, trout lily, 
wild ross, and wood poppy. Bushes and shrubs include bearberry, bog willow, high bush, cranberry, holly, and staghorn sumac. There are ferns like the Christmas fern and the lady fern. Trees include the balsam fir, dogwood, eastern white cedar, spruce, subtle pine fir, and western red cedar. There are also several kinds of cacti that live in Canada. Visiting. There are so many interesting things to see and do in Canada. For people who like big cities, Toronto is a good choice because of all its museums, historic buildings, and activities. People who want to explore the French part of Canada can visit Montreal or Quebec City. Many people enjoy visiting places in British Columbia. Here, there is the big city of Vancouver, the ski area of Whistler, and old historic Victoria on the island of Vancouver, just a ferry ride away from the city of Vancouver. Visitors interested in beautiful scenery and history can visit the Atlantic provinces, which include Labrador, Newfoundland, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia, and Prince Edward Island. At over 1,200 miles long, Yonge Street in Ontario is the longest street in the world, stretching from Lake Ontario to the Minnesota border. Every winter, 400 tons of ice and 12,000 tons of snow are used to build the Hotel de Glace in Quebec.